Hey, welcome to Omni Bros Live on a Monday. That's right, Halls. I got Halls. Reads. I got Reads for once. And uh, uh, Halls Reads. What? What else? Previews. What? Previews. That's petitioning for an Inhumans omnibus coming through in the clutch. Thank you, buddy. I've returned to my old nickname. Very happy. Feel very nostalgic today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the voting ended. Now we got to wait for the results. This is as nerve wracking as election night. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I tried my hardest. I did my part. You know, I didn't want to spam too much, but I tried. Uh, hopefully uh, the results are good. We'll see what happens. Well, I voted all of my votes for Inhumans. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's good. Once I figured it out over the how to get all 10. It was it kind of screwy, but I figured it out finally. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> uh, the chat is lively already. Let's nice. Go. All right. Nice. There we go. Oh, take out. That, take out. <laughs> He's having Chinese food or just general takeout, NFL dude. Mm. There's my cookie buddy, Kane. David, thank you for joining everybody. Beyond Comics, what's up? Ooh, hey, Beyond. Freddy. Freddy, what's up? Uh, Geo, I read Black Smith over the weekend. It was so good. Heck yes. I still need to finish the second volume, but I, I, I love the series. I'm in. I hope they keep making more. Spoiler alert. You may see that in part of what I'm showing tonight. Hell yeah. It's all right, David. I still love you. Don't worry. I, I I'm, don't. I'm, I'm happy tonight. It's a good night. Uh, I got some monkeys here with me, and and I and, and it's not party. a euphemism or a diss. I legit, some monkeys in here, so <laughs> I'll show them later. Uh, I could never vote because it kept getting stuck on my iPad. Six hundred options apparently was too much. They should have just listed the six hundred, and for you to do write-in votes, because then that would mean you were really committed for voting. To, to picking those books specifically. I, I don't know. There were a I six is that how many? Six hundred? Because it was everything that existed ever from A to Z. <laughs> from Alpha Flight to Zomb Zomnibus. I did uh, I did the all the inhuman stuff, which was six books. And then I voted for stuff like Transformers, uh really obscure stuff. Uh Indiana Jones, uh all the stuff that would never get an omnibus release. Unless, uh, you know, people voted for them like this. Uh, so I wanted to represent all the uh, underrated, obscure books out there. Oh, look at that. Hey, y'all. Omnidog looking fresh. You got that uh, shirt on. I'm going to curse tonight. <laughs> hey, Javier, just so you know, I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen to me. And he went ahead. Is, is that like... No, it's a, it's a, that's it. Okay. Javier, just so you know, I've seen what you've said, and I want to assure you, I advised him no. That's just between you and me, Javier. Okay? Hmm. Peace and love. That's kind of odd, but I'll take it. <laughs> well, I don't know how to get a hold of Javier. <laughs> uh, an option to write in something that was enlisted and people did find missing stuff. Wow. Damn. People found missing stuff? I can't uh, imagine that. True Graphic, thank you for joining. What up, True Graphic? Good to Adrian, see you. Adrian, we did that vote for the 1961, 1962, <laughs> 63 Omnis. Wow. Uh, I'll wait for them to make the 1997 Omnibus. Yeah, I don't think they're making a 1959 one. Make sure you all check Omnidog's Discord to check out <laughs> Omnidog's shirtless photo that is genuinely real, and I did, didn't. Photoshop. Oh my God! Let me check. Hey, oh, what are you boy. doing now? <laughs> he, they, they are an agent of chaos. <laughs> now I want to go check. <laughs> Let me log in. All right. <laughs> hey, Aiden, you were. <laughs> what? Phone, what the... uh... Which one am I looking for? <laughs> um, Omni Dog and Bunk Gifts. It's under TV, music, games, slash miscellaneous. 
Uh, I'm almost there. Oh, here it is. Uh, well, I haven't been here in a while. Hold on. I, I posted a, I posted a real picture of myself just up above um, for Hayden, uh, okay. <laughs> and then he used it uh, to show what I looked like back in my twenties. Wow. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's pretty hot, you know. Uh, don't mess with Omni Dog. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Geo's experiencing the eclipse right now. <laughs> oh, because of this? Because I'm doing this? Yeah. Oh, is that what uh, happened? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't see that. The eclipse? People were, people were acting crazy like they've never seen a freaking eclipse before. And literally, there's one coming up in October somewhere. So <laughs> it, it um, happens all the time. It's not new. I think the idea was that we were going to get so much of it in the U S and we, yeah. it was easy, easy to go find a hundred percent spot more than it has been in the past. But yeah, yeah, I, here's the weird thing. And I don't, I, I can't say it's because of the eclipse, but I also can't say it's not because of the eclipse. The cat that has adopted us, mm -hmm. she came in today around two and as soon as the eclipse started, she parked herself in a chair at the dining room table and was sound asleep wow. for the next three hours during the eclipse. Uh, maybe well, the eclipse it, lasted the, an hour or whatever. She maybe, zonked out, then she woke up, woke up about 4.30, went to a different chair and fell asleep. This maybe is it had an effect. I don't even own <laughs> I did see a TikTok video where somebody was doing a time lapse video, real time, whatever. I don't know what it's called. And you could hear all the insects and birds going crazy as soon as the uh, the sky darkened and all that stuff, yeah. which was really eerie because it makes you think like, oh, it's the end of the world. Fantastic. Let's go. Right. Patty's in <clears throat> upper management's in Mexico at the beach. And Ooh. she said once the eclipse i think they got 86 percent. we had 88 percent here once it got to as much as it could get the tide went crazy and just started churning and big huge waves were coming in nice. and it got really cold and then things started to die down but she said the ocean just went nuts wow right as the <laughs> eclipse happened booster green Hey, oh, look at those jabronis. Jabronis. Uh, Booster, what was the book you wanted me to uh, overview? Was it Invisible Kingdom? Or I feel like it was Invisible Kingdom. Let me know if, if that was. Uh, oh. Comic Slayer, thank you for joining. Yeah. Uh, Friend Eclipse. of the show. Congratulations to Comic Slayer. Congratulations. So yeah. happy for uh, the eclipse messed with all pets due to the darkness, apparently. The also birds the around way. my house got dead silent, but at junior management's house, they went crazy squawking. So, I don't know. I got, I got three cats. They didn't do anything. <laughs> but then again, we, we, didn't, we didn't get any of the eclipse stuff, I think. Oh. So, doesn't matter. Invisible kingdom. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I love the Queen Lily updates. <laughs> well, I did. I do post frequently in my Discord, but I think I'm going to post these on Instagram too, uh, Beyond, because she uh, actually, I felt she, uh, when she doesn't uh, like something, like I've learned when not to pet her and stuff. Yeah. And she has like a, a ready position, like ready to leave out the door when she's down here pointing out uh out, out looking at the world through the sliding glass doors mm -hmm. so i know not to touch her then and i accidentally brushed against her and i felt well, teeth on my arms <laughs> those things are sharp usually yeah. she just goes cut it out but this time she went ha, ha, and i yanked my hand away i was looking for blood i thought <laughs> oh, i'm gonna get rabies now <laughs> so thank you for the cat support beyond Queen Lily is adorable. Oh, you know what you should do for Kane? Oh, oh maybe oh, oh. when we transition. Yes, Why don't yes, we, yes. Uh, speaking of uh, transitioning. Hey, wait a minute. What's up? 
This show is sponsored by the fabulous InStockTrades.com, your home for all things collected editions. You get your omnibus, trade paperbacks, hardcovers, manga, and so much more with great discounted prices that range from 42 to 50, 60% off at times. It's crazy over there, guys. Go to InStockTrades.com for all the cool deals. If you make an order of 50 bucks or more in the U.S., you get free shipping. And there's that loyalty discount, which adds an extra 2% discount to your order if you make it on a week-by-week basis. Great packaging, wonderful customer service, only when you visit our sponsor, InStockTrades.com. Right on. Screen. So we can yeah, take a look see. at the deals. Yeah. yeah. Deals of the week. Uh, this is your final warning. Tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, these deals will disappear. So you will no longer be able to grab books like the 100 Bullets Trade Paperback, Volume 1. That's a chunky trade collecting the series. Uh, 50% off. Batman Brave and the Bold, 50% off, Volume 1. And that Ghost Rider reprint from Jason Aaron, friend of the show, 46% off. <laughs> and just called it last week, Sandman Universe Nightmare Country is 50% off as well. Joe, I ordered two of those books there. Which ones do you think I got? Yeah, Ghost Rider. Whoa, you're right. That cover, and too. This cover, nice. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you got the Sandman Universe Nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And here's some other new releases, including that really cool Alien cover. I love that one. And some manga. And the top sellers, of course. Superman oh, Silver Age you. Omnibus hanging strong. William Lee gonna owe me a burger. I feel <laughs> burger in my pizza. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at that. So, uh, gang, all you have to do is watch our stream and then afterwards go to In Stock Trades and buy some books. You won't regret it. Well, the Ghost Rider Omnibus is actually pretty cheap. Uh, Adrian's bucks. asking if it's worth it. I think it's <clears> worth it. If you like, I it was worth it, if you so like I the character, you're going to have a fun time. You know? Yeah, sure. 54 you don't have to pay for shipping because it's already past the $50 yeah. mark. So buy that book, and then you're saving up a couple of the uh, loyalty discount for all the new stuff that's coming out tomorrow. So That's right. That. I'm excited for, wait, I, I already know it's coming out because I did a dumb show about it. Let me see if, <laughs> let me uh, see if what that. I think. Gonna... Uncle Jess and Cousin Gio, what's up? Hey, we're cousins <laughs> now. That's so sweet. Cousin Thanks. Gio, oh, this is the week I've been waiting for all year. Really? Interesting. Yep. Huh, Whoop. I wonder why. We're going to get to that in a second. You bet. Uh, We got a... Huh. All right, so it's not Rodimus, but we got a good friend, Rafael Miranda, with oh, whoa. your Spanish lesson. Rodimus being bumped out of the spot. You want to tackle that one? That's pretty interesting. That's a good Boy, one. Boy, that's a big one, yeah. Hold on, let me do the sure. international flags. Let me put you <laughs> on the spot, and let me uh. put the sign here. Wait a minute, let's talk Spanish. There we go. <laughs> Uh, as the leading Hispanic authority on comic books on the internet, I am often challenged, <laughs> usually by Rodimus Prime Rib, but pinch hitting for him tonight, Rafael Miranda, who I so actually stupid. sent a book to uh, last week uh, that he won in a in a in a in a in a, in a giveaway. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I will uh, attempt it right now. I'm having trouble with English, so I don't know how I'm going to do with Spanish. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Buenas noches. Gracias a Omni Perro por enviarme el omnibus de Daredevil 2 envuelto en plástico de burbujas y condición excelente. Ah. <laughs> I think you understood all of it. You you are very welcome, my friend. I'm glad it got to you safely. Nice. I'm glad it got to you safely. So for everybody watching, uh, uh, Rafael says good night. Thank you to Omnidog for sang, sending me the Daredevil Volume 2 Omnibus wrapped in plastic bubbles and in great condition. Excellent condition. Good, good, good. Glad you got it. 
Uh, I have another book to give away because not tonight, but on what my show, uh, it, it turns out that when I say no international, uh, participants in the lottery, I mean it <laughs> because somebody won. And then uh, I'm like, this is going to be expensive. He's like, I don't care. I came back from the post office and I said, it's going to be this. And he said, oh, that's too much. And I'm like, I told you it was going to be too much. And, and you sent it? No, no, oh, okay, okay, okay. no, no, no. I, I wait till the money's in my account before I send it. That's why with peace For and sure. love, yeah, peace and love. You you say on the thing like, oh, a contest is for North American audiences only. Sorry. Yeah. Well, well I can't say North American because that's Canada too. So. Yeah, gross Canada. Um, no, we well, I don't know about that. There's Gabe <laughs> introducing himself. Yeah. What's up, okay. everybody? So, Blame Canada. Uh, so yeah, no international winner. Sorry, we're yeah. not at that level of YouTubeness. So calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when we get like a hundred thousand subs or something, I don't know. Yeah, I um, I just ask for a little bit of shipping, Dosh, and you get uh, you get a free book. So yeah. Cage, thank you for joining. Hey, what up, Cage? Howdy, howdy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ghost Rider Omni tempts me. Get it, get it now. <laughs> Price markup uh, on that. Uh, what is it? A hundred, and it was seventy-five or sixty-five or something. I believe so. Now it's a hundred. Yeah. I thought it was more than that for some reason. I thought it was like 125 or that's just it's just everything going up, you mm -hmm. know. That's actually a good question. I haven't read it. Who is the ghostwriter in that Jason Aaron book? It's uh what's his face? Uh oh Danny. Danny, Danny right? Oh Freddie's saying it was 50, now it's a hundred. Whoa. You're paying it doubled. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good evening, Jess, Geo, Gabe, Good, Chat. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Mr. Awesome, thank you for joining. Wow, a lot of a lot of cool people tonight. Love what it. up, Mr. Awesome? What if your address is the International <laughs> House of Pancakes? Uh, if it's close by, I will bring it to you, and we will have pancakes. If it's nice. in if it's in my city or close did, to did my you, city. Did you know that uh, they're doing a promotion with Sonic and Sega? And IHOP is yes, and if you go there and you eat a bunch of stuff, you <laughs> get a DLC for for one of the games. That is the most insane thing I've heard in a while. You got to eat in order to get a DLC. Uh, uh, okay, I believe it was a costume for one of the characters in one of the. Movies. And you have to go to IHOP too. So yeah, and you got to go to IHOP. If you don't like IHOP, you're screwed. If you like it, then good good on you. If you like IHOP. Yeah then you need to try something else. Uh, there's a, uh, Freddie says, no, wait, somebody else said it's Johnny Blaze, then Danny, sh Johnny Blaze, then Danny shows up. Johnny Blaze, then Danny shows up. Johnny and it's like, Tech and it Danny starts in the middle of the run, too. It's like, it starts out issue 20. Hmm. I mean, that's probably where Jason Aaron starts, but it's not like the beginning oh, of the good. run. Good. Looks like all my packages hit on the same day. That's good. Nice. But that uh, that wasn't that long ago. That was Friday. I took them to the post office. Wow. Yeah, the Daniel Ray Way run comes before the Aaron one. Daniel Way. Daniel Way. Now I'll just stick with Jason Aaron. Uh, speaking of uh, packages. Uh, what about some hauls? Anybody oh, hauls smooth. Really interesting? smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, I have reads first, but I'll move those. I got one book, and I got toys, if that's okay with everybody. The show. Oh, toys are yeah, always right? good. Yeah, but I'll, I'll go. <laughs> There's the you. <laughs> There's Thank the transition. Appreciate uh, it, because I already forgot to use it. Into the next segment here. I um, <laughs> This is over a few weeks, and i just been forgetting it. First of all, Gio, are, are you guys familiar with the Unstoppable Bar? 
far from Israel. Yeah, I mean, she, I am on your Discord, so yes. Yeah, she sent me um, via uh, James um, two books for my birthday, which was really nice of her. Miss Truesdale, oh. Fall of nice. Hyperborea, Hyperborea, and Hellboy 1957. These were on my wish list, and she kindly sent these. And she also sent me this Harley duck hey, with the mallet nice. and everything. <laughs> That's pretty big. For it, yeah, it is. is. It's actually, yeah. Um, you gonna take that in the bath with you? I actually have other ducks um, <laughs> that Kelly has given me before, and I nice. will admit to in the other house that I did uh, have a bubble bath where I had those ducks in the bath with me. Yeah, nice. so it has happened. But that's well, of course, thing. that's the that's the proper that. way of playing with the rubber ducky. <laughs> right. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you see it that way. Good. Um, I got Batman, the Brave and the Bold, the winning oh, card. Nice. I got this at the LCS when I went with Omar and his family to cool. Third Eye on Thursday. I had some credit there, and I needed to use it up so i also got this uh, Ms. marvel by I mean, really... um i'm sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to trigger I, you man here I'll let I'll that out publicly. Say, my bad Ms. Ms. marvel <laughs> i got it because i heard that iman vilani wrote it well i'll yeah. try and hard the new mutant part i, I, I am heard... happy for her that's awesome though they gotta yeah, change heard... everything in marvel don't they um <laughs> the actress that played her wrote this, and I've heard good things. So I had credit, and I uh, grabbed That's it. Awesome. Uh, and now uh, I didn't undo the packaging, so you're just gonna have to look. Wolverine volume volume seven, seven. and Ghost Rider by Ooh. Wait, was this the one I was supposed to get? Oh, Ed Brisson. Yeah, this yeah. is. I think Freddie baited me into this. I want to get that. Freddy. Heck yeah, I need that. Yeah, Freddie said it was good. Uh, Harley Quinn, who killed Harley Quinn? Now I'm going to go uh, on a readathon of all five volumes because this is Stephanie Phillips' last volume, and I'm going to read them all the way through. I had a got found a good deal on eBay. This is way marked up. It's out of print. It's a it's I think it's in current 2020. So when did the whole new uh Hickman run start? 2019? Yeah, so this is in the new this is within the new X-Men thing, and I found it for a good price. And I have to be honest, I I when did he get the mystic gem and become an avatar. I know that the mystical Cytorak now empowers him and stuff, but when did he go? When did that happen? When? Wait, we can talk about that after my haul. Because okay. <laughs> I'm early in my haul. Uh, I got the two Blacksmith books. Yeah, I'm let's go. to read them. Yeah, you and Kane really sold me on that. Then I got a ton of mutant books. Captain Britain. Ooh. X Men Volume Five. Oh man, you're catching up with the uh, the Krakoa stuff, right? Yeah, that's what it all really is. X Men Hellfire Gala, Fall of X. Not this is stuff I'm not going to get to forever. X Men. That era is ending now too, Jess. You're, you're doing it at the right time. I am. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Volume Four <laughs> of that New Mutants Lethal Legion. Jean Grey, Jean Grey, Flames of Fear, uh, Sabretooth, The Adversary. I think this is a, this is volume two or one. I got this is volume one. I already got volume two of this. Then I got the incredibly expensive but very thin Immortal Thor. <laughs> Thirty dollars for this thing. What? Yeah. That's like almost as much as the Ghost Rider Omni. Yep. Holy what is it like? Six issues? Thin? Yeah. How thin are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's six. Yep. Yeah. 
And then I finally threw in the towel and bought Excalibur one again. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to find the one that you were looking for. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to stumble <laughs> over it as I leave the screen tonight. Yeah, I finally just said it was it was at cheap graphic novels for a good price, fifty dollars off, and I, they may still be there. I I feel like this is going out of print, so I I thought that was a good price. So it, that magic juggernaut overhaul was around the Gillen X Men era. Okay, thank you, NFL dude. Freddie says that, uh, the whole thing with the uh, magic crystal and stuff happens in in that run that you got. The oh the juggernaut story. Yeah. Okay, wait. Yeah, he's, nice. Freddy's the one that baited me into getting it because that's like. The but I know that that Jim's been a part of Juggernaut's origin. Like that's how he became the Juggernaut when he found the gem in, in like a cave. I don't know because that's that's been around since X Men Twelve. When did he first appear? Twelve. But no, wasn't 12? he just a big guy in a suit back then? I think it was always a uh, the. The Karak gem. So, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, Juggernaut follows directly from X Men, Wolverine, and Cyclops. Oh, from Dis Disassembled. Okay, so that's early. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have to say, this takes some cojones to charge 30 bucks for this thing. And why did I buy it? Because I'm sure it's going to get an modern epic uh omnibus eventually who wrote who's writing this al ewing oh i feel like i might try and read it sooner rather than later oh no wait i still have to read all of jason or aaron so yeah that was a really dumb purchase i think you're good because they're not doing oversized hardcovers anymore so i don't see that getting i'd have to wait the... like five years for an omnibus right yeah, so you're good no, don't worry about it yeah, I've, I've, uh, and that's it for my haul. Uh, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I got in birthday t shirts. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, they came late. I watched the upper management's out of town, so I've been watching television. And I so want to do a try on haul now, just try on. No, I'm just gonna hold it up. I watched three episodes of Batman Adventures. Nice. And so this has. It's a is that long a long sleeve, sleeve or is that a sweater? It's a long sleeve, yeah. Uh, I am the knight on one sleeve. I am vengeance on the other. Hell yeah. Also, chat, chat, if you want to do like a massive super chat, then maybe Jess would consider putting it on. <laughs> and I'm talking like where's 50 bucks. Where's T-shirt guy when we need him? I know. I hope he's doing all right. That goes with your uh, Batman Adventures Omnibus. Yeah, it does. It matches up perfectly. And then I got three Gotham Ooh. City Sirens shirts. I like that one. It's cute. Whoop. Yeah, I like, this is my favorite of them. Nice. Um, but I got, and here's an art germ one that's just freaking gorgeous. Ooh. Am I holding it up right? A little bit more up. Raise it up. up a little bit more. Higher. Okay. Higher. A little bit higher. No. Higher? <laughs> no, we can't see Harley. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I got that. And then I got the classic cover. Oh, that's my favorite out of the three. They're both great. All three are great. But if I had to pick one, I'd pick that one. This is your fave? Yeah. I yeah. couldn't pick one. So I picked all three. And somehow, miraculously, <laughs> you got all three. Like, Upper management got me all three. And then I got a care package from... It's going to take way more than that, Hayden. Cut it out. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> and you changed your profile picture too, Hayden. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Hayden, what are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I got a care Thank package you. from uh, petitioning for an Inhumans omnibus. Thank what? you so much, Gio. Me, happy, yeah. happy late birthday. Thank you. Um, I would show you the cookies. The cookies are no longer with us. <laughs> they disappeared. Rest in peace. They, they, yeah, they did not last long, especially with upper management being out. Uh, 
<laughs> it, uh, it, it did not last long. Um, it, the candy is um, on its way out, and I've already started drinking the coffee. So thank you very much. That was very kind of you. I appreciate that. Is it that that hardcore coffee that's going to keep you oh. up for like three weeks? Well, it's Puerto Rico. It's Puerto Rican coffee, which is oh. very strong. It's not that Cubans. Uh, not as strong. Yeah, yeah, not as. The, yeah, uh, but it's still pretty. It's it's the real yeah. thing. Yeah, it's stronger than American coffee generally. Fifty dollars super chat is like one point six. It's pretty sad when you put it in those terms. Jesus. Yeah. Try on a whole link in bio. Come chat with me privately. Here's the Instruct Trades link. Nice. Nice. Love it. <laughs> Rick Ray. Rick Ray at eight thirty is funny. <laughs> those traps are an unexpected but very welcome surprise. Hell yeah. <laughs> Adorable Omni Dog is now the abstacular. Abstacular, I know. I'm That's all good... ripped up. Yeah, everybody's everybody hates that uh that thirty dollar price tag, dude. Yeah, well, I I gotta be honest with you. I mean, I have been honest with you. There's other hey, show show Marvel the price book. tag just just for anybody tuning in that doesn't know. Let's see. This Marvel book uh is five issues. It's five it's issues eight, for thirty dollars. No, eighteen dollars. Saber Tooth. It's five sense. issues. Immortal Hulk. Sorry, Immortal Thor is six issues for thirty dollars. Got that uh, Ewing tax on it, you know? I, wow, I don't know, but that this is thirty dollars, man. And now, even now, now, just you're just you're just giving them the okay to keep doing that. <laughs> I am. I'm complaining about. It. Well, you bought it. <laughs> But but well, but, that's but, but, true. but but this is worth noting. Immortal Thor is eighteen dollars. That's it's what I paid. Still, yeah, still a lot, but it's better than paying thirty. Yeah, I I think that's. I mean, they're the exact same size. <laughs> For thirty bucks, I'll send you a life size print of the shirt and Omni Dog. Way more worth the price than Thor. Absolutely. No one's giving you permission to do that, Hayden. <laughs> You have my permission, Hayden. <laughs> Two hundred dollar Omni is coming soon. I am looking forward to the discussion when that happens. Uh, what sure. book was it? I was like one seventy five. Was yeah, it? that was, was it, an is it zero just an event hour? book? Yeah, it, it was zero it might hour. Have, was it zero hour? Is I think it, it was that zero hour? Because you're like, dude, that that <laughs> that storyline is not worth one hundred and seventy five bucks. Yeah, because you could definitely find those books in like dollar bins or cheaper. Uh yes, it is zero hour. Let me uh, double mm. check. Let me share my screen here so everybody can Canada see. Canada has two twenty five omnis already. That's not real money though. Ugh. Look at that one seventy five for this. Wow, thing. how many pages is that? Does it give a page count? A uh, thousand thousand. Yeah. The the micro books were like a hundred. Wait, how much were those micro books? Were those one fifty books? Let me look. Those might have been one fifty, and those things are like fifteen hundred pages. Yeah, they were one fifty. They were also fifteen hundred pages. Fifty two omnibus was one seventy five. Well, at least that's better than zero hour. Fifty two. I have the old version. What what did I pay? It was 150 the old version so that's huh i think dc jacks up the price when a crazy number of creators are involved huh don't Maybe. they shaft the creators though oh 50 oh 175 okay zero R and 52 were both 175 wow hmm. uh gabe i'll be right back you all anything i did okay. i'll be right back okay I will show you uh, some cool toys and one book I got. Yeah, your toys are cool. I I'm got a little jealous of them. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I got some. I got some monkeys up in this uh, house, and I love them so much. I've been playing with them for a good hour before going live. Uh -huh. I got the Jack specific uh, Donkey Kong figure. Nice. So uh, I posed them like that. So he's giving you the thumbs up. I still remember how that video game opened. Donkey Kong. Boom, boom, 
Boom. Super articulate for a four inch figure. And not just that, comes with accessories like oh, banana. So cool. And the barrel. But that's not all. I also grabbed because it was a, 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 a sweet offer on, on the Ebays. I got Diddy Kong. Diddy. Diddy is one of my all time favorite characters. I love Diddy Kong Racing, one of my all time favorite video games. So I was very happy to get this. And as a kid, <laughs> I, if I had to pick a character, I would pick Diddy Kong and I would see, like, that would be my avatar for most things. I love the Donkey Kong franchise so much. Did did Diddy Kong have a racing game? Diddy Kong Racing, yeah. Yeah, that was for the N64? Yep. Yeah, I remember that. It wasn't okay. as good as other Mario Kart games, but it was still great for the N64. Yeah, I was telling Geo that how frustrating that Donkey Kong 64 game was for me. There was one level where I, I couldn't even start the level. It was so hard. It was the big block, a giant block in the middle of the floor, mm -hmm. and you had to get up on top of it. And I could never get up on top of it. I'd have a friend come over who was into it at the time, and he got me on top of it, and I could finally do the rest of the game. But nice. those games were frustratingly hard sometimes. Yeah. But those are cool. This is a new line that's coming up. Uh, they've released. There's a Link from Breath of the Wild. Uh, there's a Samus from Metro oh. Prime 2. Are you getting and, that? Uh, I'm thinking of it uh, about it, but I did pre-order the first four figures statue of Samus, and oh. it just shipped from Hong Kong to somewhere in America, and then it'll ship to me or something like that. So <laughs> it should be arriving soonish. And uh, I, I don't know if I want more figures of the same character. I, I, I don't tend to do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. But I might get it. You know, if I find it for cheap, I'll get it. Uh, I do want to get. There's a Tanuki Mario, uh, which looks really cool. It's four inch, super articulated. And there's a Yoshi one as well. So Yoshi. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to get everything, but at least a couple of my favorite characters. Definitely Tanuki Mario, because it's Mario and. The whole yokai thing and whatnot. So yeah, I want it. Freddie says you're celebrating April the right way. Remember mm. that it's April because oh, of the eight apocalypse. Damn it! And JL Lape. You got me. That's a good one. All right, cool. <laughs> April. Yeah, I I like monkeys. Uh, I like all animals. Well, those are cool. They look exactly like them. Yeah. What was the Donkey Kong game where you had the bongos? Donkey Konga. Was that name? Was that uh, series? It was on GameCube. Never played it, but I have played everything else. I played the Donkey Kong Country, which is one of my all-time favorite games, and uh, I played sixty-four. I played uh, the three D, the uh, the Game Boy ones, the Game Boy Color, and I played uh, Tropical Freeze on the Switch because I never bought a Wii U. Look at that, Doctor Elevator, nice. Tropical Freeze is my favorite. Freeze. I um, recommend. It. Wait, uh, uh, AS at eight thirty one. Can you pronounce that shirt again? The wait. shirt to drink the coffee with. Eight thirty one at AS. Eight thirty one. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, you need a guayabera. 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 I'm going to show you what that is. Hold on. Yeah, Lou and I, I feel like maybe it was last Wednesday. It what was. That what, yeah, where we talked about, what is it? Guayabera. 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 Oh, so Guayabera. You know okay. okay, okay. Guayabera. Yeah, okay. Show them, though. Maybe people don't know. Yeah, actually, you should show them. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Guayabera. Guayabera. Let me share my screen. It's uh, this thing. Uh, let me share my screen. Ah, I am not a professional. Sorry. <laughs> You're not? No, I'm not. This type of uh, wardrobe. 
Yeah, those I think those are for younger people. Oh, traditionally this was for older, distinguished gentlemen. Oh, you mean like myself? Yes. The, the dons would wear it and, and you'd have the little the, the hat here. Oh. And you would drink the coffee and stuff, and it was very fancy. But actually, I like on, that guy's shirt and hat. He's rocking that pink shirt and hat like I would. Yeah. And nowadays, uh, younger folk uh, want to grab it to, I don't know, uh, look fancier, I guess. But it was uh -huh. for the uh, older gentleman to, to wear. Nice. Get the hat. You get that coffee. Hell yeah. Yeah. Style. Are you going to church? You go hang out at the barbershop and drink coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> play some play some uh some dominoes. I don't I, know. I used to be good at dominoes. I I remember playing dominoes. That's a fun game. The distinguished Omni Dog. Thank you, Jay. I feel like a badass dominoes player. Once I learned how to hold them like this, like all this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I did get a book. Hold on. And I gotta give a shout out. To uh, one of our mods, of course, uh, Josh Greathouse, hooked me oh. up with the initial D omnibus. So I finally got it. Got it. Got it in a couple days ago. Rad. This is the Kinokuniya version. Obviously, there are no Kinokuniya over here. So he was kind enough to go in and, and get me a copy. And it came with a shikishi board. Do you know what a shikishi board is? Uh, no. Is it a Ouija board? Is it a Kuwaitabeta? No, it's this thing. It's like a cardboard thing. And uh, Japanese uh, writers would uh, autograph it for people. That's the that's like a, the super bossest book plate you could get. So essentially, yeah, like a book plate. It's a lot nicer the, than someone's stationery or a sticky note. <laughs> the Holiday Inn stationery. Yeah, that thing's... And it's thick? Yep. Yeah, look at that. That's really nice. But the signature. I like how it has like a whole like it has like an actual picture of you know the comic in there. You know, yeah, it's not just some blank sheet of paper kind of thing. It almost looks yeah. like a really cool postcard. Here's some of the art inside. For those who know what postcards are, yes. yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I show you some cool shots of the cars. Of course, that's what the people want to see when it comes to initial D. Drifting down that, drifting down that that mountain with that pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I am super excited. I love the games, and I've seen the show, but I've never read all of the manga, and now I can get started on that. This is Omnibus One of twenty four. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's a long ass series. I don't know if I'm going to collect it all, but I'll try. And are they, uh, are they thirty dollar omnibuses? <laughs> These are uh, twenty three bucks retail price. <laughs> Damn, look at yeah. that man! Marvel is just bending people over the barrel. Well, uh, Doc Elevator says they he and his wife have been watching the initial D anime and loving it. Hell yeah! You have know what's cool? Have sorry, you seen sorry, sorry. it? No, I go ahead. I, what's cool? I watched it. Years ago, but it, it's uh, I need to I, I want to watch it again. I do remember playing the arcade game at my local arcade way back when. And what was cool about it was that you bought like a little memory card and you would create your character profile car and everything. You would pimp out your ride or whatever. And uh, once you were finished playing, you would save the data on your memory card and take it with you. So if you came, uh, you would return the other day to play again. Stick that in there and continue your playthrough. Like oh, it was that's a console awesome. Game. Yeah, yeah. I remember that in my arcade, and people would just throw those cards away after they got pissed off at their character <laughs> lock or something. <laughs> Here's a cool shot. That is cool. So I'm not a car guy, but I love this series because it, it's so like high octane and, and stuff. And now, why couldn't you find it? Because this is Kinokuniya, the Asian Japanese store that's in a couple, a handful of states. So it's not over here. Oh, did he have to physically go get it or did he? 
Yeah, he physically, oh. I think he physically went in and got it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So it's a store that you have to get it from. Yes, there there are three covers for this. It's it's like Marvel and DC. You got the standard cover. This is a DM one, and this one was exclusive to Kino Kuriya. But if you go to Insert Trades, I think both of the two covers are still available. Let me double check. Josh says he dro drove an hour up north to get it. Hell yeah, buddy! Thank you so much. Of That's course, a great Josh, gift. Josh wrote this amazing book, which I want to pick out again. Bang the Ballad of the Tiger. Everybody, go check it out. That's the second. Read. Oh, you've got. Oh no, this is the same one that I have. This it's one. the first one. Yeah, I think Volume Two's out. Yeah, so Volume Two's out. Uh, James, if you can help us out and, and put the links in the chat, we would appreciate it because we're too lazy, and you you're the man. Thank uh -huh. you, Gabe. Yeah. So the first picture that's the standard cover, and then I, the other one is the uh, direct market version, which are cool. I like them. But I wanted to grab that one because that was the original volume of the Japanese release, the volume one. Back oh, in the day. I don't know which one I like better. I like I, they're both great. I yeah. just uh, I was a sucker for the character profile shot of the main. I think yes, yeah, so, yeah, because these are the same photo, just kind of slightly, you know, colored differently. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that cover that you got, Geo. It's really sharp. Fifteen bucks on IST. Look at that, 15 bucks. For 448 pages. Of drifting goodness. <laughs> drifting yeah. goodness. I saw the movie. My friend uh, showed me the movie before. Nice. And yeah, it's just, a it's just a bunch of just drifting and, you know, some pizza delivery boy drifting down a mountain. Mm-hmm. Uh... Oh, thank you, James. My man, let's go. You can read buy Ballad of the Tiger right there on that link, or you can read it for free on Webtoons app. You got Webtoons, you can read it there. But I would I would much prefer if you buy the book. It's quite good. Oh, thank you so much, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. OG covers the best of the three. <laughs> uh oh. Shots fired in the chat. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to get people <laughs> mad. I don't want to start a mod fight. Do it. <laughs> Share your opinion, Gio. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so that was. Uh, so that was all I got. I, I, I did order some stuff, but uh, some of it I posted a whole video on my channel, and other stuff didn't arrive. So, yeah. <laughs> But there's one cool book that I'm really excited for, graphic, uh, excited for a graphic novel that's coming out. Everybody in the chat already knows what it's going to be, but we'll get to that in a second. Starts with a G, ends with a K. <laughs> I was so bummed when I went to my LCS on Thursday with Omar, and I couldn't get a, uh, a roaring Kong versus Godzilla comic you know that gabe yeah. showed us yeah we open the front cover uh and it roars i guess i should have i didn't even know about it till gabe showed it to us so it, you had to pre-order it to get it i'm not mm -hmm. gonna i'm not gonna uh pay 30 dollars for it or whatever on ebay they should is it 30 dollars wow let me go look i, I, I don't know <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I would think since it's limited and really cool. Roaring variant Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, what is it? Justice League? Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. Just, uh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, it's what? Wow. 40 bucks. Damn. 40? Yeah. 40. I see some uh, for 20, 25, 15, 20. Now I am extra bitter. The, but wouldn't the battery run out eventually? And yeah. Like, oh, do it. Do it, Gabe. Yeah. Do it for us, please. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a good long Godzilla scream, man. Yeah. It's so sharp, too. It sounds great on the air. Yeah. <laughs> I 
That's the remix. The DJ uh, remix. EDM Scrat. remix. Um, all I got last week was a Robbie the Robot. Nice. That I've been terrorizing the cats with. I give Danger Earl Robinson. A week before it's told. Uh, I love that. I love Lost in Space. Speaking of, hold on. It's not Robbie the... Actually, yeah, wait a minute. We did not plan this, but I do have this shirt on. Oh, very cool. What is that? Oh, is that Forbidden Planet? Yeah. Where Robbie the Robot shows up? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Did not plan for that at all. But, you know, one of the best sci-fi posters of all time, in my opinion. Heck yeah. Eat it, shirt guy. You're not here. <laughs> You're missing out, dude. Should have been here. I think we, I, I think we scurried him away because we kept telling him that he had a <laughs> super chat us. We wanted to show up for shirts. Hell yeah. Weirdo. <laughs> what about uh, reads? Anybody read anything interesting? Well, I yeah. do have a haul real quick. Oh, shoot. Sorry, my bad. Go That's ahead. All good. Uh, I went to my old stomping grounds, went to Torpedo Comics, picked up I... this uh, iMagneto X Men Epic Collection, which I think is out of print, but they were having a 50 percent off sale on all their like omnibuses and collected editions and stuff like that. So when I saw this, I immediately grabbed this. Uh, this is volume eight of the X-Men series. Uh, collects Uncanny X-Men 144 through 153. Annual number five. Avengers annual number 10. That's the first Rogue. Bizarre Avengers 27. And some material from Marvel Fanfare 1 through 4. So... I love these nice. epic collections. These are always my favorite things to pick up. Um, and uh, it's 45 bucks. It's a little bit more than Immortal Thor, but you get a lot more out of it for sure. Definitely. Especially at half off, you know, it's like 22 bucks or whatever. So nice, nice. That was my nice. little pickup this week. Cool. Uh, I got a banana scented cover. No, for real? They're yeah, scented? they did have that option, yeah. <laughs> that is so stupid. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, wow. This doesn't smell like, like, like ape poop or something like that. Or hair. Hairy. Uh, cool. Let's see. Uh, Jess, did you read anything interesting? Yeah, I did. I read a lot, actually. I Go finished... I reread... Uh, the second half of uh, X of Swords, nice. so that I could start my X Men readathon. And I Finally. read it's happening. It is happening. Yeah. So I'm reading. I have read uh, Reign of X one through three today, uh, and I'm digging it so far. I I, uh, I forget. There's like twelve of these or something. So I'm I'm digging a lot of the stories so far, and then. Uh, <laughs> For my uh, Superman show with Jessica yesterday, I read all this Kurt Busiek super goodness. Whoa. Jeepers. Damn. Yeah. Getting a lot done when upper management's not around. Uh, you're not kidding. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I read. Nice. I'm interested in following you with your X Men reads because I'm curious on how on how somebody like you who's not like super big into X Men thinks of that of that era. Uh, well, I read um, X, uh, House of X, Powers of X. That was and, amazing. I love that. A lot. Yeah, and then I read all of Dawn of X, and I love that. So I'm, I, uh, yeah, I was X Men Swords. I loved it, especially yeah. the, the kind of twist that it had uh, with the actual tournament. I thought was really boss. Rain of X, let's go. That's right. Up. People doubted Freddy you. I, I think Freddie already read it all. We're People trying to catch up so we can get up to date with Max because Max is current with it and 
has all these titles that he says are great, like Immoral X Men and stuff like that. I'm rooting for you because people doubted you and you're proving them wrong. You started that. <laughs> Who doubts me? Oh, I see them in, in your chats. I, I know. <laughs> I've been around. I doubt me. Yeah. Sometimes it's like one in the morning and I got nothing else to do. So I'm playing with my switch <laughs> and I tune into like Omar streams or your streams. And I just listen and, and obs observe and lurk, even if it's pre-recorded, whatever, or, uh, wait, not pre <laughs> you know what I mean? Rebroadcast. Oh, so uh, there's a justice league versus Godzilla versus Kong. So you got the Godzilla roar. But the Kong Roar one is still in stock. There's a reason for that, probably. Because nobody cares about the Kong one. Yeah, the Godzilla Roar is the cool one. I love Kong. I love King Kong. But I love Godzilla more. So if yeah, I had to choose, same. obviously, it would be Godzilla. Yeah, that but was still worth getting, you know. I mean, I got Donkey Kong here. He's no King Kong, but <laughs> at least this guy... Doesn't destroy cities. He destroys. At least he has a tie and is sophisticated. Yeah. yeah. Thank tie. you, Freddie, for sending me the link. He's got the banana. Uh, let's see. Twelve rain and ten trial. Damn. Mm, so that's okay. And I got to read them all together because you know they're anthologies. And if I don't get um, if I if I don't read them within a short time period, I'm going to forget the stuff and have to go back. So I'm trying to at least get rain done while upper management's gone. And this, and I forget, I think rain leads up to the hellfire gala, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're doubting me. Holy smoke. I hate of Kong. I love Kong. So not me. I'm good. Remember Mighty Yo Joe Young? That was a good movie. I, I do movie. remember that movie. What um, about Dunstan Checks In? I remember. I don't know. X of Swords, Reign of X, Trials of X. I remember. It's about an orangutan that goes into a hotel and just causes. He works at a hotel. I know. Then I have not seen it. Okay. But I Rain remember the name. Hellfire Gala. Uh, I'm going to. I'm talking to Freddie in, uh, in the chat. <laughs> He's so the energy. order goes House of X, Powers of Ten, Dawn of X, X of Swords, Reign of X, Trials of X, Infernal, X Lives, or X Lives, X Deaths, then Destiny and, of X. And where's Sins of Sinister go, Freddy? That's a lot of X's. Yeah. Rain includes Hellfire Gala. I'm going to skip that and read that in the hardcover that I got. I want to read all that stuff, but Jesus, I don't know if I can hunt down all those books and commit to it. I, you're, I bet anything Omar's going to announce Omnis for those things, and probably all, all of the uh, things are going to be put together. And it's know? probably going to be $150 for like three omnibuses. Uh, mm -hmm. At the very end of Destiny, after the second Hellfire and Axe. Okay. Um, well, I there's a lot of material for several Omnis, so they may be able to put out... Well, I would think they... Since they're not doing hardcovers anymore, they, I would think they'd compendiums be able to... Compendiums, or else they got nothing else for me. What's that? I said, I hope maybe compendiums, because... Or maybe Omnibus modern epics. They could be doing those Marvel modern epics. That's always possible. But they haven't gotten... So far with the modern epics, they have, they're nowhere near like this phase or this this era of Marvel. It's been like the early two thousand stuff. Mm. Yes, is that a real book? At what uh, this Roman Roman numerals House of ninety two? Wait, no, yeah, ninety two. I think it's ninety two. Wow, good job, damn House of ninety two. What? The hell's House of ninety two? Is that Wait, an actual you, thing? I, <laughs> I think he's. Was there a cartoon ninety two? Was it ninety two? Series was ninety two, but they didn't call it that. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not lying. All right, all right. House of 92 for X-Men animated series during Krakoa. Oh. Is it a oh, part yeah. of Krakoa or is it just another series? It has to be outside of it because there's no way that the 92 series is mixed in with current events, I would think. Animated universe title. So, yeah, it's probably, it don't count. Yes, that's real, but nothing to do with the Hickman era stuff. Okay. I... I had I watched three episodes of Batman the animated series today, so that was it for me. I'll start again tomorrow. Nice. Until I get done, because I'm into season three, which is great. Lots of Batgirl. She's did awesome. Did they change the animation style? Uh, they did. Yeah. Okay. Joker looks like a shark. I haven't seen him yet, but okay. I've seen what he looks like, and, and yeah, it's odd. But otherwise, they look pretty much the same. A Scarecrow changed. I saw a Scarecrow episode that was really good. Catwoman's looking different. Yeah, she's that, that was kind of an odd design. Like They made her really just super skinny. Yeah, and I There's feel no like... No way. Like she's like a triangle and then another triangle. Almost. Yeah, and her face is really white in her costume. Yeah. But... Uh, oh, <laughs> Freddie said, that's why I made the Star Wars list three episodes at a time. That's for me to watch the uh, Clone Wars and Rebels so I can get up to speed on... I can watch Ahsoka. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> I that would be a good thing for me to do while uh, upper management's away. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, reads. I I read. Uh, I'm doing a video on uh, Sandland by Akira Toriyama, and I also started reading Initial D. And I started reading, shoot, what was it? It's another book. Forgetting. Whatever. Was it manga? Yes, but I can't remember what it was right now. Uh, the most important Great thing. Is, Island. No, no, not that. I am working on, on Sandland because the anime is airing and the video game is coming up. So I'm going to do a video on all three things at the same time. It's going to be chaotic. I'm still reading the uh, my epic collection, the Fantastic Four Rise of Atlantis, which was the one that completes the Tom DeFalco, Paul Ryan era of things. But it's kind of a slog. It's kind of a downbeat in the run. Hmm. You um, showed that off last week, right? Last I showed it off last week, yeah. I'm still in the middle of reading it. It's a big story about a rogue watcher going crazy. And then it turns into like this rise of Atlantis storyline, and it's it's whatever. But I'm gonna you know make my way through it. The Inhumans show up, but it's not as exciting as other Inhuman stories. Yeah, it's like the Inhumans show up during the uh, the the Rogue Watcher stuff, but it's like these random Inhumans I've never saw before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and probably never again. What will come first? Jess gets <laughs> caught up on reading all X-Men Krakoa books or Omni Bros Mario Party. Like, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, James. I totally forgot about it. My bad. Mario Party? Yep. I completely forgot about it until I read it just now on your comment. He's got to figure a way to stream it because they took the, the streaming. The, the, they took Twitch off the Switch. Oh, they I did? Guess. Yeah. But we uh, can... Oh, that's just in case we wanted to stream it. Right. I'll figure something out. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, but wait. So if we did it, will we just? We'd have to just create a stream yard then. And I'm gonna play. try and see if we can stream it through Stream Yard on YouTube for the YouTube people to watch. Okay, that's probably the best option. I no longer care about Twitch, so. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Yeah, because they're taking all the naked stuff off, right? Uh well, I don't. I don't it is a thing where they said that you can no longer like make it where like this oh, area is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the the center it's, point of your stream or whatever. People were abusing of that because they were a little bit lenient Thank on you. it, and people went hard on that. Yeah, now they took away all the fun. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Sam has a lot, a ton of fun. I wish we got more of this short series. Yeah. No, stop. I'm not gonna discuss that. Moving on. <laughs> um, transition. Wait a minute. Where's the thing? <laughs> Let's do previews. Woohoo! I'm excited for a book this week. Ordering it at noon. Expensive uh, shipping. I'm paying for extra shipping to get it here extra quick. Nice. So uh, let's start here with uh, DC and Lunar, aka DCBS and Star Trades, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, a bunch of single issues for uh, action comics. Cool, cool. If you see any cool issue that you want me to highlight, please uh, let me know because there's a lot. <clears throat> also, what the hell is this? Oh, that's <laughs> a bat. That's kind of ugly. Uh, is this Harley Quinn? Batman and Robin? No, that's not Harley Quinn. That's uh, Shush. Sorry. Oh, that's Shush? Yeah. Shush. Because I saw the red it. here. And over oh. here, and I thought, is that like a yeah. version of Harley? Well, what's happening? To shush. I just can't believe they went with that. That's this. I like this cover because of the T Rex. Honestly, <laughs> I, I could care less about father and son here. <laughs> so cool to me. Uh, Batman. Nope. These are all single issues. Here we go. Here is oh, the first. Oh, yeah. Issue. Epic Omnibus editions that are coming out. That's why nice. I'm able to stream the Omnibus battle. On the DC corner, we got The Flash by Joshua Williamson, Omnibus Volume 1. For 125, this collects Flash Rebirth number 1, The Flash 1 through 35, Batman 21 and 22, Hal, uh, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps 32, Justice League 32 and 33. And a story from DC Holiday Special 2017, number one, features an introduction and dozens of pages behind the scenes. So this is uh, half of the Rebirth stuff, right? Yeah, I would think this is the first part's Rebirth, and then it goes into uh, DC Universe. Okay. Yeah. I, I read a little bit of it, and I thought it was cool. I didn't read all of it. I have to. I ha read those hardcovers so long ago that I've forgotten about them. Yeah, this was 2000. Wow, 2017, 16. Damn. Man, Rebirth was such a good time frame, too. That was a it good really was. That was, was uh, uh, when we were starting Omni Bros, 2016, 2017. So, yeah. Uh, so, that Omnibus is coming out. Great uh, for Flash fans. And. We also have, where is it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this cover is sick. I love it. <laughs> That's Wait so cool. a minute. Yeah. Not the cover that, I mean, the book that I was talking about isn't on sale this week? There's some Harley issues. Oh, no, oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, same thing. Okay. Wait, I'll look. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sweeney Boo. Yeah. Uh-huh. You got the Batman First Night issues coming out from Dan Jurgens. I don't know what this is about. I think this is like the alternate noir retelling of Batman of his hmm. first appearance. Looks rad. Uh, Vigil from DC. Uh, this collects the Vigil 1 through 6 from uh, Ron B. Oh, Justice League Dark is next week. Uh, that Vigil book is supposed to be good. Booster Green. Who, oh, Booster Green, didn't you say the Vigil is uh, really good? Um, Serious new South Asian super team. Yeah. The Shadows. And then he says, get Vigil. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's been promoting that for a while. He reads a lot in singles. Oh, shoot. JLA, JL Dark is next week. Oh, oh, Jess, you got all hyped. I did. And it didn't, 
Yeah, because we're getting flash, so it wouldn't make sense to. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this? Red Hook the Hill. Huh. Okay. Interesting thing. I mean, is Sin I really want to read Sinister Sons. What is it's, it? It's the uh, evil, quote unquote, version of Super Sons. Oh, it's, it's the Sinestral Son and like and, oh. uh, Zod, Zod. Son? Zod Son. Yeah, yeah. Tomasi's so, writing it. Wow, yeah, Tomasi and it's David La Fuente on the art. Like, I'm down for this when it gets collected. Look at that. That's so cool. He's so hip. Love it. This is my favorite cover from that bunch. <laughs> That's a big ass ring too. Yeah, there is. I hope they cross over and make a like a mini event, go back in time and feature Sinister Sons meets uh, Super Sons. Or they could have just kept Jonathan as a little boy. <laughs> no, that was too easy. So they had to complicate things. Uh, so yeah, that's it for DC from Boom. Ooh. We got Ghost Lore Volume Two. This is by Cullen Bunn. Ghost Lore. Okay, Cullen Bunn, I'm interested. Uh, it's about ghosts. I can tell you wow. that. Oh. Is it about Five lore too? And lore, the lore behind the ghosts. Volume two. From Marvel Comics, we got the Modern Epic Collection, Black Widow, Volume three. I recommend this. It's Nathan Edmondson run, I think. Yeah, that's the Nathan yeah. Edmondson run and uh, Phil Noto on the art. Yeah, they actually really still good. have the original trades for this, and it was mm. a lot of fun. I do recommend it as well. Yeah, well, I well, this one's pretty that. far out. Wow, that's 2014 when that for that. Like I was saying, the a lot of the modern epics are like early 2000, like 2000, 2001. So far, this is going that's 2014. Good. This collects uh, the 20 issue series along with Punisher number nine and material from all new Marvel now. Point one. No, I want it. <laughs> I saw. I love the epics. I mean, for anybody, if nobody's got, is into epics. Like these things are really nice, put together material. Perfect stuff. Really good pricing. It's all in order. They do like it. it all the issues are chronological for the most part. It's a really good format. I love it. Yeah. Also coming out, the second battle here for the uh, Omnibus. Uh, the Omnibus title for this week, we got Daredevil Omnibus Hardcover Volume 3. Oh, this is when he's with Black Widow. Collecting like Daredevil 75 through 119, Avengers 111, and material from Amazing Adventures 1 through 8. I think it was called Daredevil and Black Widow for a while. Yeah, because that's what the other cover is. This is the cover uh, I would get. Ooh, I like that cover. So which cover do you like best? The standard one where he is screaming in agony over something? <laughs> or this it's one like he where steps he on a leg in agony board. over something else? The Mark of Hawkeye. That is, is nice. I like this one because this is the 70s cover. Like I like this. This style. Was it probably, probably Gil Kane did this cover probably? Uh, probably. Or Gene Cullen? One of the two? John Romita Sr. Ah. Right? That's right. Romita Sr. was like in charge of all the covers back then, so he, he did all of them. Uh, so, you stole my girl, Hornhead. Well, all I want in return is your life. No, in the name of heaven, no. And then there they were like, that ledge, can't reach it, can't. Man, you suck for a superhero. You can't reach that ledge. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Salty Somebody, Geo. Somebody's already going to dislike the video. <laughs> Die hard. He's, he's, he's disabled, disabled, Geo. Okay, he's disabled. He's got superpowers, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he's, the most, against, he's the most cheating disabled person ever. And it's against freaking Hawkeye, of all people. Come on now. I know. <laughs> if it was like Ghost Rider, <laughs> Thanos, I don't know, anybody. And they're all fighting over, and they're fighting over like Black Widow. Like, come on, she's like the neighborhood bicycle. So, uh, so everybody gets yeah. a ride. 
I I think I got that. Okay. Um, Predator versus Wolverine trade paperback. Ben Ben Percy, Greg Land, and a bunch of other people. This collects the four issue series. Cool, cool with that horrendous logo here. Hate it. Uh, 20th Century Studios. Uh, Darth uh, Vader by Greg Pak, Volume 8. And uh, Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2, Part 2. Collecting uh, issues 5 through 8. From the other publishers, Fanagraphics is putting out The Adventures of the Gummy Bears, A New Beginning, part of the Disney Afternoon Collection. That, that collects those, uh, uh, I think those are things they collect the, the digest used to get at the, at the grocery stores. Yeah. Because uh, I have the dark green duck one. I was never a fan of the gummy bears, so this is a pass, but I love that it exists. That's so cool. I was unaware of their existence. Oh. <laughs> the gummy bears are awesome. I, I, I was more into, uh, tailspin and, uh, a dark wind duck stuff like that. Uh, manga, 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 manga. We talk about all these releases, or I talked about no two weeks ago. We talked about all the April releases on the Thursday show. If you want to check that out, so I'm going to skip all of that. Ahoy Comics has Con and On trade paperback. Hmm. Uh, Drawn and Quarterly has Club Microbe hardcover. Club Microbe. Cupcake Diaries from Simon Spotlight. Uh, this is the best manga coming out this week. I don't care that I'm featuring a manga here. I'm going to talk about <laughs> it for a little bit. Dinosaur Sanctuary. I love, love this series so much. I cannot recommend it enough. It is fantastic. And we finally have Volume 4 coming out. I can't wait to grab this. A lot of gummy bear love in the chat. Yeah, wow. see, they know what's up. Gummy bears holds up. Adventures of Gummy Bears was so great. Wow. Fantastic theme song. Forgot about gummy bears. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know the chat was so well versed in the gummy yeah. bears. Because our chat is a bunch of badasses. That's why. Uh yeah, I agree. Jess, do you know what Dinosaur Sanctuary is about? No. Gives me an excuse. Is it about dinosaurs? Yes, perfect. Are they getting sanctuary? Talk about it. Uh, this is like, what if, like Jurassic Park, but nobody gets eaten and oh, it all boom. plays out great. Boom! It's, it's an alternate reality where people discover that dinosaurs did not go extinct; they were in like um, islands in the Pacific and stuff like that. So now they are breeding them and um, doing uh, what do you call it? Uh, zoos and stuff to study the the creatures and build theme parks and all that so people can go in and visit the zoo and pet the dinosaurs and learn about them. So it's a slice of life manga about this young girl who works at this sanctuary and sort of her day-to-day -day adventures with the dinosaurs. But it's a lot of fun and very scientifically accurate because they get uh, uh, actual anthro, no, paleontologists and professors to talk about uh, the dinosaur. So I highly recommend it. The only problem I have with this is I that it's it about is. dinosaurs Damn and it. that it's manga. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love dinosaurs. I <laughs> never developed a taste for dinosaur meat or whatever. I never got into them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show off this cool bat. Melanie, the astonishing Melanie got me. Oh, nice. Batter days. Yo, nice. Cool. Yeah. It's a finger puppet. B -b 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 Batter days. <laughs> uh, what is this publisher? How oh, the hell do I say this? <laughs> Go for S -Q it. SQ Mag PTY LTD, everybody. <laughs> I'm sure that means something. I'm sure it just activated a Russian spy somewhere. Square <laughs> Mag Party. Square Mag Party. I don't know. Uh, Dreaming Volume One. There you go. Humanoids no is putting out Eden with no Love cover. The cover. Love it. Uh, and there's uh, so, no, it's a manga. Sorry, my bad, my bad. 
Fable Omnibus. Nice try. No. This is a manga about a hitman that uh, has to is forced to hide out uh, for a year in uh, from the mob or something. So it's how somebody that's used to killing now can't kill and is living amongst the regular popul populace and stuff. It's funny. Also uh, known as Geo the Assassin. Yes. Because because wait wait wait, wait 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 you out yeah. Uh, yeah, damn it. Does this assassin just hang out with a parakeet? <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Do you remember what you were talking about? Of course not. <laughs> Sometimes I just improvise the humor. I don't know. <laughs> uh, firepower. Uh, and yes, that is a parakeet. He is a character in the show. Nice. Uh, Firepower by Kirkman and Samney, Volume 6. I think the second hardcover is coming out fairly soon, right? No. So, or it was announced at least, like this year? I think it was announced. The series just ended. Okay, Okay. so this is it? I think this is oh, the last it It's the finale. This is the final Okay. Tour. I will definitely hmm. get the second volume because I shockingly like this Kirkman book a lot. Oh, dude, Samney's the... Sammy's the, the champ on this book. It's yeah, really he really is. is. Conundrum uh, Press. <laughs> Eddie, I made you buy Kirkman. Yeah, this book's good. Hmm. Uh, Conundrum dr uh, Dress. Wait. Blah, blah, blah. Conundrum Press has Food School coming out. And the Image has Forged Volume 1. I believe this is a Rucka book. Right? Volume 2, yeah. But I already Rucka. ordered it. I ordered it last week. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah. Awkward. Damn Sorry. it, previews. <laughs> Awkward. The hell, previews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Freddy's already got his copy. Hold up. Uh-oh. This is, is the book everybody book? should be getting. Yes. Uh, Here's so, Dragon. Finally coming out. I have been waiting patiently for this damn book. I did not get <laughs> the singles. I have not read anything digitally. I'm waiting for this trade paperback. Godzilla, here there be dragons. Uh, it's in the 1800s, and it's Sir Francis Drake, and uh, he's trying to uh, outrun, outmaneuver uh, the King of Monsters, Godzilla. Wow, that sounds good. It's pirates. History and Godzilla. Yes, it's pirates and Godzilla. Hell yes. That sounds really cool. A uh, five issue series, but it has a sequel coming up. I'm not sure if it started. Uh, or if it's out or not, but it was announced that it's getting a sequel, part two. Wow. So this is by Frank Thierry and Inaki Miranda. Friend of the Everybody, show. Everybody, do me a solid and buy this book. Buy it for your friends. Buy it for your wives. Buy it for your husband. <laughs> buy it for your nephews. They might be getting into Godzilla. Buy it for your cousins. Buy it for, for your grandpa. So that uh, he can uh, uh, have a, a fun time with Godzilla. Read it to your pets. Just buy it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, the, just Take so it on death, rattle, death Rattle knows, 20, um, Forged is a, a way oversized book. That's why it's $24 for three issues. It's not your standard size trade paperback. Yeehaw. It's thicker, thicker issues too, right? So uh, let's see, I have Forged Volume 1. I bet I could go put my hands on it while you guys are looking. Go ahead and chat. Mm -hmm. All it. right. Uh, let me finish this. Uh, manga, 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 manga. Uh, uh -huh. Image Comics has Local Man Volume 2 Dry Season. And Rebellion 2000 AD has Lowborn High. New Press is putting out Lies My Teacher Told Me. Uh-oh. That could get okay. really naughty. That could be problematic. Uh, manga, 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 manga. There's a Miles Morales poster from the Spider-Man 2 game. Boring. Uh, there's the final Marmalade Boy uh, manga. I'm getting that one. Uh, there's a, oh, these are all manga. Phantom com, uh, Complete Dailies, hardcover, volume 31. This collects 1984 to 1986. Uh, fun fact, this is the final volume. Poetry of Ran or Ran. 
The oh, second only, volume is the final volume. Yeah, it was only it's a mini series. It was only two oh. two books. Uh, oh, uh, the compendium edition of Sex Criminals from uh, Fraction and Zdarsky. Collecting all 30, 30 issues, right? And the issue 69. I like that it's all pink. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Splatoon. If you guys like Splatoon, we're getting the third, uh, or the adaptation of the third game in manga form. Uh, who is Taylor Swift? I don't know. And I'm also getting this for all the manga peeps in the chat. Tales of the Tendo family. Super excited to read this one. What's the horror hardcover? Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. What is this? The horror uh, hardcover from Dark Horse. Uh, this is by Lars Jacobson and Eduardo Francisco. A uh, prequel the horror... to Conrad's Heart of Darkness. Boring. Never mind. You know, I I'm not going to say who it was. It was a YouTuber had problems saying the word horror and he would pronounce it as whore and it was the <laughs> funniest thing ever because every video oh i definitely like horror movies i'm like really <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> yeah uh the horror provides a prequel to heart of darkness cool that's a scary cover right there and I think we're almost done. We're manga. Is it this YouTuber? No, 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 not that one. No, it's it's unrelated to uh, our niche. Something, someone completely different. That's uh, from the statue game. I'm not gonna mention who it was. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Will Eisner's contract oh. with God trilogy. Man, they're pumping out some Will Eisner stuff this week. Yeah. And, uh, Dropsy Avenue. I've read Will that Eisner. one before. And uh, Family Matter from Will Eisner. I this is, I don't know if you guys know this, this is the prequel to Family Matters, for the TV show. <laughs> I forgot that was a show. <laughs> Family Matters. Uh, yeah. You, you learn about uh, Urkel's upbringing in this book. <laughs> Can uh, you well, imagine? <laughs> I Will Eisner, Invisible People. And Stefan Urkel. Oh, there's yeah. a lot of... Wow. Sure, Will Eisner week, man. They're really just... Somebody, someone's doing a sale or something. Will Eisner, Life Force. A Life Force. Will Eisner, New York, Big City. Will I? It's like, guys, we're running out of time. 2024 is the last year we can put these books out. Let's just... Wow. That's a lot of good um, Eisner stuff. Will Eisner's plot protocols of elders of Zion, of the elders of Zion. There we go. Uh, Will Eisner's the building. This one's about a building that comes alive, and when people enter, no, oh, no, Big that's manga. Not Big this is uh, Will Eisner doing a manga. It's called The Heart of the Storm. It's about a uh, typhoon that strikes Okinawa. Can you, for Hayden, can you highlight Winnie the Pooh there? If Hayden's still here, he was asking about that earlier. Uh, this is uh, the Beloved Children's Classic appears as a graphic novel for the first time. <gasps> that looks sweet. Uh, yeah. Winnie the Pooh's uh, original adventures alongside a brand new story from Dandro created exclusively for this volume. Oh, nice. And it's not that expensive. 30 bucks. This is Christ of Immortal Thor. At least this is cute. A <laughs> Thor book is not cute. Uh, contract with God. The only way to get that previous. Well, I saw that it used to come out. It was the first one, I think. Yeah. The Contract with God trilogy. That thing was an expensive, big, giant hardcover. Um, oh, it's got. Wait, go back, show the three. It has three things. No, <laughs> I mean, oh. just, yeah, just, there we go. It's got a contract. Nope, up again. <laughs> Life Force, Drops, oh, yeah, oh, oh. and Contract oh. with God are all included in that. Now I got it. <laughs> and Contract with God, that's supposed to be considered the first 
Yeah. Level, right. Yeah. Uh huh. Really? I didn't know that. Wait a minute. Oh, you can buy the trilogy or the separate books. I was exactly. Wow, look things. at this. Wait, you could get the trilogy for 40 bucks. In hard, but if you want Dropsy on it by itself in soft cover, it's gonna be thirty-five dollars. Plus um, and another life thirty dollars for family matters or life life is is Marvel style pricing, man. <laughs> Almost a hundred bucks if you get them individually. Wow. Okay. I actually will consider some of these stuff. He he is an, a master of illustration. I know, right? Oh, he's he's, he's inspired everybody. Yeah. Goku shows up in this book. It's pretty awesome. Dude. <laughs> Goku. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he this is Iser's most poignant and endearing literary legacy that's why uh kira toriyama paid tribute and lended out the character <laughs> i'm being salty Chad. i don't know it's mad. great don't get mad it's just me having fun somebody's <laughs> gonna be like oh look at this pretentious um YouTuber. It, <laughs> nfl dude do you recommend uh sacrificers let's see wait he, he nfl dude has uh Taste. Uh, IST had sacrificers last week. Oh, it's last week. It's not part of this week. I read it in singles, slow burn, lots of world building, tons of characters, great <laughs> fights. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the list. Uh, if I were to take a guess for deals of the week, because we don't know. Oh, I'm pretty sure the. Uh, I would bet Predator versus Wolverine will make it. I heard um, that's a really that was a good series. I'm gonna say the Flash out. Omnibus. Flash for sure, yeah. And uh, what was the other book I featured from DC? Uh, is there a trade? Vigil. Vigil. I'm definitely getting Vigil. Uh, Booster Green, you're you're uh, on the hook. If, if I don't like um, Vigil, I'm going to take that overview off of oh. Invisible Kingdom I'm putting up for you this week. Did not feature this. Sorry about oh. that. DC versus Vampires Volume 2. Forgot about that one. This is great stuff. That'll be like half price. DC versus vampires seven through twelve. That could be a fifty percent off book. Indeed. I did not feature this. Man, I'm I'm off my game tonight. No. Well, Geo, you're so salty, you're forgetting. <laughs> Volume four. We featured these this recently. The standard hardcover. This is a trade from uh, Mariko Tamaki. Volume four, riddle me this. And I think that's it. Yeah. So that's when all of these week. books drop, you can grab them by visiting our sponsor's website, instocktrades.com, your home for oh, collected okay. editions. Get your omnibus, straight paperback, hardcovers, manga, and so much more for great discounted prices that range from 42 to 50, 60% off. Free shipping in the U.S. at 50 bucks or more. And there, there's that loyalty discount, which adds an extra 2% off discount when you make a weekly order, uh, great packaging, and wonderful customer service only when you visit InStockTrades.com. Oh, Sacrifice is by, is by Remender. Forget it. I'm waiting until the library edition comes out next year. <laughs> That's smart. Uh, no, 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 no. You can't get me, NFL dude. You see You're smarter. right, Kane. I love that series. Tales of the Titans and Black Widow will probably be deals. Oh, who's Freddy? Is he some IST employee or something? How do you know that? He's their customer representative or a customer rep. Or a... Black Widow. Okay, Freddy, yeah. you're on the clock here for thinking that those are your uh, those are the deals. You owe us fifty bucks if they're not. Wow, fifty dollar super chat. That's right, fifty dollar hey, super yeah. chat. YP, thank you for joining. Here's my shirt. Uh, also, uh, has anybody seen our friend of the show in the chat, K Dog? K Dog, oh. if you're watching this stream, we still do not have your information, so please send it. I know. Uh, That's funny. We did get something from Emily, though, and I will uh, disperse it after this. Thank you. Omnigros Live at gmail.com. If somebody knows K Dog, tell them that. Uh, his lost pet is waiting 
the door oh, at, the <laughs> at the Omni Bros shelter. Hey, yeah. we found your we found your we found your missing childhood dog. Oh wait, oh never God. mind. This is a fifty dollars. Can you imagine card. if that opens a can of trauma and worms and uh, he gets upset at us because I said that joke? I am so sorry, K Dog. I don't know. I don't even remember what joke you said. Because of a lost dog, lost uh, animal pet. Maybe it could resurface some old wounds of the lost animal from he, when he was a kid. Oh, Dark Geo. Yeah. Sex Criminals is pink for a reason, right? Yeah, it's pink. Okay. We started a threesome. Whoa. I didn't want to mention it, but thank you, Josh. Where? What was that from? It's a manga, uh, uh, spicy manga about a uh, threesome. Spicy manga. Oh, here's uh, the forged. Uh, compared to, oh, wait. Whoop, 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 whoop. I've got T-shirts covering my. Okay, let's see. Forged compared to. Here's here's how big the forged is compared hmm. to a regular trade. Oh, but that's see, a different like cover than the 10, one. I see. This is volume one. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Freddy, since he owns IST, he got his early. W what is the forged about? In the eleventh millennium of the rule of the Inter Eternal Empress, a squad of planet-smashing super soldiers find their routine mission to be anything but. Ooh, the art's nice. Oh yeah, it, is it thick? Like for three issues? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just sec. Uh, the, these are the Forge. They take no prisoners, and for ten thousand years, there has never been actual first contact with an alien race. Until now. Spoiler alert. The neighbors are effing pissed. <laughs> Embark upon an over-the-top pulp adventure of, oh, sex, violence, and sci-fi. Written by Greg Rucka and Eric Troutman. Brought yeah, to the oh, page yeah. by Mike Henderson. This art looks epic. I like it. Um, Is that ROM? Oh, no, sorry. My bad. <laughs> It's not, a, it's not a Walmart he, robot. Is he Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> I said it because he was like clunky and big. The artwork absolutely steals the show, captures the larger than life feeling you want from a space soap opera story. Damn it. Why did I ask for what the book was about? Now I want to get it. Oops. It's, there's the, some, uh, there's a little paper work in here. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, look at that. I, yeah, man. This was $20. Uh, Dude. How let's see how it? big the issues are. Oh, you're right. Forged Volume 2 came out. Damn it, I got to change the thumbnail. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Well, Forge, Forge came out last week, though. Isn't that what everybody's saying? Forge yeah. 2 did, yeah. yeah that's yeah, what yeah. we were saying. Son but I'm showing guy. you that it's extra big and spectacular. That's what she said. Bitching ass art, man. So yeah, everybody yeah. needs to get this because I did. Oh, I keep talking. Well, I fix keep that. talking, everybody. Sure. Space sure. filler, space filler, space filler. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I can. I can show stuff, man. Man, I hate when that happens because it makes us look like chumps. <laughs> Are you changing the good. thumbnail right now? <laughs> yes. What's that? Be right back. I haven't seen that one before. That's awesome. That was when uh, <laughs> I did a solo stream once on here and <laughs> and added it just in case if I needed to grab a, a glass of water or something. <laughs> yeah, That's we have hilarious. music. We got songs to play here too in the background. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so technically I could just <laughs> leave that on with some music and be right back, but never happened. Uh, hold on, I'm so you, had, so you had the forged in, but you didn't have the forged in last week's thumbnail. I, it you? wasn't on. No, it wasn't on. They didn't have it. That's really weird. And it's a uh, Greg Rucka, so you know it's gonna be pretty decent. Yeah, but I'm changing it. Screw At it. At the very least, hold on. a sexy More. adult action packed space opera romp. Filled with interesting characters, six packs, eyeball eyeball popping visuals, and glorious science fiction on a marvelously grandiose scale. Uh, very fine condition. Wow, good for you. 
Whoop, can I show this? Yeah. Can I show this? Yeah. Show it. Show it, Jess. There was one panel of vaguely sexy material, but it was, I'm sure it's it was pretty innocuous, but I still don't want to have anybody come after us. This looks cool. This looks really good. Oh, you can't even hear me. I've been talking up a storm. Oh. I, I, I <laughs> muted myself. I'm such an idiot. Hold on. <laughs> I'm having conversations with you and nobody's listening. <laughs> he's he's extra salty and nobody can tell. I know. Sorry. All I'm, right. Uh, I'm changing the thumbnail. What'd I'm, you I'm put in its place? Uh, the, the Colin Bunn book, Ghost Lore. Oh, yeah, I want to get that. That's Ghost Lore Volume 2, right? Yes. Okay, so I need to get Ghost Lore Volume 1. <laughs> Vaguely sexy material. I'm sold. Yeah. That's all it takes. I'll check yeah, it out. Yeah, baby. That works. Uh, No, wait. As Image works a week later. Oh, that's why. Well, Image left, so that makes sense. Right? They left the preview stuff. Oh, I thought Kane said we all make milkshakes. I was all excited. She said we all make mistakes. <laughs> well, I made I milkshakes milk bring the boys to the yard. Uh, I just saw that video for the very first time. I now understand it. Uh, YP, yes, there is. Uh, they, they, we do, we do cons too. I don't go to them just in case. I don't want to interact with people. It's too many people. Uh, I, I'm overstimulated. Go, go, Geo. Go be with people. Peace and love. Peace and love. There are too many people. Blech. Look at that. <laughs> That's me on, on a common floor. I used to like it. Not anymore. Don't Sorry. mess with Geo, man. I'm, I'm all close to finishing the thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> then we can leave. Uh, shorts live. All right, I'm editing this thing. Uh, Josh, ooh. I have seen dodgeball. I thought it was funny. Oh, did you see Sex Drive director's cut yet, Jess? <clears throat> I have not. Uh, my daughter's coming over a lot this week. Uh, We're gonna watch Napoleon Dynamite for the 600th time. Yeah, I wish I was coming over for that. We and. <laughs> We just saw Pineapple Express a couple months ago and Tropic Thunder like a month ago, and we're watching those again. Nice. Uh, so we may watch Step. We just saw Step Brothers. We may watch it. Oh, Blades of Glory. We haven't seen. I'll bring that out. She loves that's a Blades good one. Of Glory. I do too. Oh, uh, that's a good idea, James. That nine forty three. I, I don't know what it is, but I agree with James. Uh, Crime Corner is a show I uh, used to do with the minister, and now it's going to be with Bunk, and I just keep forgetting to ask Bunk to do it. I think Bunk may have to work during the week, uh, but I can find out. Um, I'll, I'll text him, James. That's a good idea. I hadn't even thought about that. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, good. We'll do it. There you go. It's all good, Gio. I'll meet you at Costco Con one day. That'd be that'd be fun. We can we get the, the the pie. What was the thing that you guys were excited peanut about? Pie. Yeah, peanut butter yeah. chocolate pie. But we can get that and and I don't know, hold hands and eat it together. I don't know, whatever. Or we don't need like, to like eat pie to hold hands. We just hold hands. We can, yeah. Read some Godzilla books. Here there be dragons while we eat the the cake thing. Pie, so, yeah. You go pie. shopping for some clothes over there. Of course, hell yeah. Have a dollar fifty hot dog. That's oh, much. Josh brings up a good point about heroes. Never feels crowded at Heroes Con, and and that's me saying that. One day, um, I'll try. Oh yeah, that's right. You uh, live far away. Uh, oh, we can all make milkshake. Man, I haven't had a milkshake in years. Really? 
Yeah. What's what's up with that, man? Milkshake or proof of God's existence? I I uh, I, I don't do well with sweets. I, I I gain all the weight immediately as soon as oh. I, I eat just a tiny fraction of any sweet. So I try and avoid the sweets. Oh, you so you send them all to me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I noticed there was a huge collection of candies that you sent me. Were you just like, get out of the house, get out of the house? Some of them I think uh, you had never seen before, right? I hadn't seen hardly any of them. Okay. Those are like uh, really traditional, typical stuff you would find over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. It's all good, Gio. I don't, I don't eat sweets either. I can't remember the last time I had a milkshake. Yeah. Uh, I want to, though. Cycle Cleveland sent me a burger and milkshake a few months ago. Oh, I'm jealous. It was awesome. <laughs> Uh, you know what I like to do? Uh, and this contradicts what I just said, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I eat uh, lactose free ice cream and yeah. I add, I buy a chocolate muffin and I'll do like a lava cake thing, thingamajig. I'll heat it up in the microwave till it's scorching hot and then I dump the ice cream on top. And instead of just eating the combo, I annihilate and destroy the very essence and fiber of that thing. <laughs> it's just a pile of goop of ice cream with the... It sounds perfect. Right? It, it, this goop, I absolutely love. I thought you were going to say you get lactose-free uh, ice cream and then you get some milk and pour it over it or something. <laughs> That'd be funny. I, You know what I've never had is Pop-Tarts from the toaster... With ice cream on them. That's supposed to be a really good treat. I've never done that in my whole life, which is. Man, that's some crazy stuff right there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm on a diet now, so I shouldn't do it. Candy corn, baby. That's 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 the that's the shit. That's Candy the corn's cool. Uh, uh, yeah. <sighs> So that's um, it. Um, Doug asks where Heroes Con is. It's in the Charlotte, South Carolina. Doug, Heroes Con. Not, not over here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you uh, do. Costco, apple pie, and vanilla ice cream is way too hard. Cartel. Oh, man, all, all the stuff hell. at Costco, all the stuff at, like, at Sam's Club, like their snack bars are the best. Their, their concession stands, like best prices. Everything's like a dollar, dollar fifty. Uh, Kane, elaborate. What's Tony's Chocolonely? Right below that. Yeah, Tony's Chocolonely kick. Tell so us one of the things I, I like to do. Oh, it's North Carolina. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm when I go to San Diego Comic Con, uh, across the street where all the restaurants are, there's a place called uh, Ghirardelli. That's there, and it's just one big like oh. ice cream chocolate like store. You go up there, you can get yourself like a banana split and all that kind of stuff. So that's always really cool to do there. Your deli chocolate's good. Yeah. I, I remember now. Chocoloni is this thing. Uh, it's uh, exploitation-free chocolate. Chocoloni? How's chocolate exploitative? Because uh, they make it. They uh, I, I can't explain it right now. My brain's fried. <laughs> Sorry. Is this is like blood diamonds? Yeah, yeah, but like stuff even like that. Better makes me like chocolate even more. So Tony's chocolate lonely. I have never heard of this. I am so lonely. Uh, mm. Yeah. What to give you math problems on that? That sucks. <laughs> yeah. What was that? <laughs> uh, Tony's chocolate admits harm to health and lobbies for sugar tax. Oh. Boy. Grams of sugar per piece of milk chocolate. Oh my Jeez. god, this is already looking terrible. Wow. Uh, Nathaniel's wow. experience Rucka hit was really sick last year. That's what he's been up to. He's uh, been uh, recovering from whatever his illness was. Deny, deny, deny. Oh, whatever. How they're tracking you, Gio. Oh, fun. Uh huh. They're uh, slightly no, more but I feel it's worth it. That chocolate is delicious. Hmm. Right Tain now, there's sweet. on Cocoa Farms in West Africa. This is a result of the 
unequally divided cocoa chain, unequally divided cocoa chain. Tony's chocoloni exists to change that. I think um, that makes the chocolate taste better. Come on, a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't care anymore. There you go. I'm getting some just to support them, is what I'm saying. Just to support them. Sure. Nathaniel. Oh, wow. What? What did you mix it with? Peanuts or cashews? Both. Oh. Delicious. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you dug it. I remember that. Yeah. I will try. I promise, James. James was really upset last year. I promise that this year I will grab that fox mask for Halloween. I promise. The the what? Last year I said I was going to get a fox mask. Oh, right. For the Halloween stream, and I didn't do it because I'm a chump. Are we so, going full furry? No, no, no. Just the the traditional Japanese fox uh, kitsune mask. So I will. I was looking at it earlier today. I was supposed to be working, but instead I was searching for that. Uh, <laughs> so this year Halloween falls on a what? On a Thursday. Thursday. Show. Thursday? Right, well, yeah. Never mind. All of you. We're going to be invading. Back. I'm going to invade that show, and we're going to talk about. Halloween candy that you can eat while you're reading manga. Yeah, we're going to talk about how to smash pumpkins in your neighborhood. <laughs> how to ding toilet, on a bitch. Throw the toilet paper across the rooftop stuff. How to light how to how to how to light a how to get a paper bag, fill it up with dog crap and light it on fire. My god. Joe, didn't you say you were I say a lot of things. <laughs> and, and the thing is, you shouldn't take me too seriously. Sometimes uh, the goofs and gaffs are for that specific stream. I realized that the Lego set was just too expensive. I don't want to spend up more than a hundred bucks on a Lego set. And from time to time, I do look for it on like eBay, and I I want it, but I don't want it for a hundred dollars for a tiny set of the lunar lander thing. Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, Daily Planet. No, no, no. It was uh, oh, David, Apollo, man, Apollo 11? Lunar Lander? Whatever. The famous one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Apollo yeah. 13? Uh, 13 was the one that they couldn't land. Right, they, yeah. They, was it they 11? Had a problem. Houston, Apollo we have 11 a had Armstrong in, in game? One of them. Whatever. What's that? Was Apollo 11 the one with uh, uh, Neil Armstrong, Neil Armstrong? And, and Collins and Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin? Okay. Is Buzz, Buzz is still alive, right? It never happened. I think so. The other two, I, okay. I think, are gone. Yeah, the other two passed away. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin had uh, has like 10 rings on him. He looks and, like uh, Hal Jordan Parallax. <laughs> and you can tell he's had at least one facelift. Oh, yeah. Could be multiple. Yeah, and he's in the whole conspiracy theory rabbit hole. Buzz Aldrin is. Yes. yes. Does he, he not believe it happened? <laughs> Does he not believe he went to the moon? <laughs> I, I've seen I've seen videos about that stuff, and like uh, I, I I don't know. He's he's a he's a different man these days. Does he Does he say I really liked working with Stanley Kubrick? <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm going to Google this. Buzz Aldrin conspiracy. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite video i don't know if you guys remember it was buzz punching a moon landing conspiracy theories in the face because <laughs> he was arguing with him and there's video of it and he just <laughs> yeah, right in the face <laughs> that's what larry just said yes, but there we go yeah, yeah, that's that's saying that. and, uh, he's like 90 years old and he's punching a guy that rocks that's awesome <laughs> is there a video of that? I think so. Oh, uh, I want to see it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. I can't. No, wait a minute. I don't know if I can play it. If it's. Oh, it's worth it. Uh, we'll get demonetized, but I can. Uh... That's all right. We'll I just want to. This show for the punching. Let me find it. <laughs> you can't find it? I'm, I'm looking for the... I see articles of it, but I don't see... Oh, I found the video. Yay! Oh, it's on YouTube. Okay. 
Where am I? This is a weird page. Uh oh. Now you're infected. Probably. See, that's what happens when you accept those cookies. So now they're tracking you. That you're looking for old men beating people up. Mm. If you guys don't see me next Thursday, then you know something happened. <laughs> um, let me share the page. We can look at it. I don't know if the audio is going to play, but we can enjoy the video together. Wait. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> Boom. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. He's in Buzz Aldrin's face. The guy's 90 years old and he levels the dude. Boom. <laughs> oh, I found a video that's a, that's a better angle. <laughs> oh, you did? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, let's do it. Show it. Ooh, oh, that was awesome. How did I? This show is educational, man. Yeah, Larry's saying the guy lifted off the ground a bit. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah, Buzz Aldrin put him into space. <laughs> wow. That's <clears throat> hilarious. I never saw that. Omni Bros Live. Come for the comics, stay for the Buzz conspiracies. Yeah, buddy. That's awesome. So do I dare go to that site or what what kind of site was it? It wasn't YouTube, obviously. Oh, I closed it. It was some um, That's okay. I don't know what it was. I took the hit for all of you guys. Uh we got another Spanish lesson if you want to close this, the night. Oh, sure. One. Rodimus so joining in. Oh, Rodimus. Good to see you. <clears throat> uh yeah. I have already said something extremely uh, Spanishy previously, but I'm happy to do another take as the leading Hispanic authority on comics on the internet. Whoops, where'd it go? Uh, wait. There you go. Ah, okay. Uh, Rodimus Prime member always channel challenge it challenges me to speak uh, Spanish. And here's today's Los Omni Hermanos en Vivo y to a Toro Color. Tarde pero seguro como el eclipse solar. Eclipse. Eclipse. Solar. A pack so solar. Eclipse solar. Solar? Yeah. Guay Guayabera? Guayabera, nice. Yeah. Guay Guayabera shirt. I, you, you got this, right? You, 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 yeah, you got this 100%. Yeah. Uh, he's late because he was watching the solar eclipse. Late. Uh, late, uh, but. Uh, I can't translate. Sorry, my brain is. Wait, um, he didn't see the solar eclipse? Because no, 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 no. no. Um, oh, how the hell? Uh, Freddie, help me out. How the hell do I translate that? Uh, Put it in Google. Is this some of that Puerto Rican es Espanol? Late but safe, I guess. Oh, marked safe from the total eclipse, the solar eclipse. Late but safe, just like the solar eclipse. Hmm. Hmm. Did did y'all look at the solar eclipse in the eye and burn your retinas? That must no. Be I had I had the good glasses for it. Okay. I didn't give two shits about it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Uh, uh, yeah, I was watching it while the cat was asleep. Guaranteed. From a fake. Guaranteed friend. like the eclipse. Okay. You don't need me. You, you got two able Puerto Ricans there. I'm out. <laughs> he took himself out. Yeah. Oh, well, I uh, whoa, forgot she was on the show. All right, thank nice. you, guys, Janet. Uh, I'm ready to go if you guys are because I am tired. Yeah, Sorry. boy, Let's do it. Uh, gang, thank you for showing up. Thank you for watching uh, your favorite stream at night. Uh, Gabe loves 90 comics. You can find him on Mondays and uh, Wednesdays here on the show, and the adorable Omni Dog. Separating readers from their money, or the ab, uh, what was it? The ab, abstacular, ab, abstacular. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where can people find you when you're not here with us? 
uh, Omni Dogs Vault on YouTube, Omni Dogs underscore Vault on Instagram, and Omni Dogs Discord, uh, where it's fun. Thank fun you. all the time. Uh, all so, the yeah, go to the Discords and all that fun stuff. You can check out my channel, Manga Geekdom, where I talk about manga and all that stuff. So, uh, thank you to our sponsor. Thank you to the live chat. You guys are lovely as always. Uh, to uh, everybody watching later, hit the like button. It helps out the channel and all that fun stuff. So we'll have a good night and we'll see you on Wednesday on the next show. Peace and love. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>